Good morning everyone and welcome to Yoga with Toms. So today as usual we start in easy seated position, crossed leg and start with a couple of circles towards the left. Inhalation moving forward, exhalation back. Synchronize your movement with the breath, inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Change the direction. Inhalation forward, toward the right. Exhalation back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Let's stop at the middle and bring our arms up in front in the cross, palms facing upwards, bring them backwards, open up the chest, look up, exhalation, close, tilt pelvis forward, hug yourself, chin to the chest, inhale, open, exhale, close, chin to the chest, pelvis forward, inhale, open, Exhale, close. Inhale, open and hold. Bring the palms facing upwards, thumbs pointing backwards. Chest open. Hold it for three, two, one. Let's rotate your palms forward till they're facing upwards again if you can. Rotate the shoulders slightly forward. You can close the chest, lift the hands. Or try to bring the palms facing as much as forward as you can. Rotating the chest, shoulders. Hold it for two. And one. Rotate backwards as much as backwards as you can. And twist towards your left. Keep looking at your left arm. Hold it for three. Two and one. Inhalation to the middle. Exhalation. Twist towards your right. Keep looking to your right arm. Arms and across. Rotate your thumbs backwards as much as can. Two and one. Inhalation to the middle. Exhalation. Bring the arms down on your knees. Let's circle the neck. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. Change direction. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's stop in the middle. Chin to the chest. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale to the middle. And let's work on our shoulders a bit. With inhalation, bring the shoulders up. Exhalation. Exhale. Drop, drop them down. Inhale through the nose. Lift them up. You can hold the breath here. Exhale. Drop. You can go slowly. Inhale up. Hold the shoulders. Hold the breath. Exhale. Down. Or you can go faster. Find your rhythm. Find your pace. Each inhale up. Exhale. Down. Drop them. Release them. Inhale up. Breathe inhalation. Exhalation. And exhale through the mouth. Drop and relax. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Bring your shoulders as much as close as you can to your ears. Exhale down. You can continue on the same pace or if you want, you can try a bit faster pace. Done.
down to the normal breathing, relax your shoulders and be shaking off. Let's go for a table top. So bring your arms on your mat, knees and hips align, arms and chest and shoulders align. Inhalation, cut and cup. Open up your chest, chin up. Tilt the pelvis upward as well. Exhalation, chin to the chest, pelvis forward, shoulders up, stretch. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhalation, open up to the middle. And let's lift our left leg up, right arm up. You can balance here or lift your right knee off the ground as well. Hold it for three, two, straight line, and one. Exhalation, elbow and knee to the chest. Hold it for three, two, one. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. One more straight line. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhalation. Slowly with control. Go round and round and change your sides. Inhalation, left leg. So, if it was. So, right leg, left arm. Lift up. If you hold it here or lift your right, left knee off the ground. Hold it for three. Straight line, reaching forward with your arm, reaching backwards with your leg. Two. Hold it. And one. Exhalation. Elbow and knee to the chest. Hold it for three, two, and one. Inhale, open, reach. Try to find a balance. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhalation. Slowly control child's pose. Arms in front of you, reach them forward, bring your chest closer to your knees, closer to your legs. Deep inhale into your belly. Feel your belly touching your legs. Massage. Exhale. Relax. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Deep inhale into the belly. Exhalation, release. Sit up and lower yourself down on the ground. Let's go for a sphinx. Bring the arms, forearms on the ground. Open up just feet flat behind you. You can check if your legs are still fully on the ground, pointing toes backwards. So here you want to have your Chest open, shoulders back and down. Arching your back slightly, looking forward. And from here, let's go for a twist towards your left. Exhalation, inhalation forward. Exhalation, twist towards your right. Inhale forward. Exhale left. Inhale forward. Exhale right. Inhale forward, open up the chest, look up, exhalation, lower yourself down and down. Bring your arms behind the back, interlace them, open up the chest, lift up. Bring your arms behind, higher up, open chest, lift up. Optionally, lift your legs as well. Hold it for four, three, Smile, enjoy. Two. And one. You can go down on the ground, relax, or optionally bend your legs, grab them by ankles. 
and lift up more. And three, two, and one. Well done. Let's go down on the ground. Relax. Arms right next to the body, and we're progressing to the cobra. With the cobra, you still stay firmly on the ground with your legs, arms right next to the body. Bend, open chest, look forward. Hold it for three. You throw your and elbows are tight to the body, shoulders back and down. And one, upper facing dog. Here we straighten the arms. You can bring the knees off the ground or keep them on the ground. Shoulders still, back and down, open chest. You can have a look up for three, two, one. Going for a downward facing dog. So you can bend your knees, bring your weight for backwards, straighten your arms, relax your shoulders, and push your chest towards your knees. Walk the dog. First dog of the day. So it's pretty highly likely that you still have a bit stiff legs like I am now. So it feels nice to walk the dog, stretch out. In your downward facing dog, you want to have your hands fully flat on the ground, middle or index fingers parallel to each other, arms straight, shoulders up, pushing away your chest, bringing closer to your knees, your hips going up and down, stretching the spine, your neck relaxed between your arms and looking backwards between your legs. A nice little stretch here in your downward facing dog. And here from downward facing dog, let's jump or step forward into the halfway, the spine parallel to the ground. Exhalation forward. Inhalation, bend the knees, chair pose, arms go up. Keep bending chair, knees and chair pose and hold the chair pose for four. Build the pelvis forward, open up the chest. You can interlace the um, hands above your head, palms facing upward and bring your shoulders back and up. Two and one. Release the arms above, palms to each other, lift your heels off the ground. And go down into the balancing squat. Heels off the ground, arms up. You can bring the palms up above the head in Namaste. Or if you find difficult to find a uh, balance here, you can bring the arms over to the sides to help you with your balance. Let's separate our legs into the squat. So separate your legs, find it's comfortable squat position, arms in front of your chest, pray position, use your elbows to push and open up your legs to the sides. Find your comfortable position here in the squat and move from side to side. Use your arms, use your legs. Try to find a comfortable seated position with your heels on the ground. If you can, if not, you can sit here with your heels off the ground, maybe put some books or blocks under there, so you feel more comfortable here in the squat position. And here, from the squat, let's go for a twist. So we will start with the right side, right hand, wrap around the right leg, behind, reaching up, inhalation, left arm up. You can hold it here, or have a bind behind the back. Bending your left arm, grabbing behind with your right, looking up, twisting for three, two, and one. Inhalation, look up. Exhalation to the middle, arms in front of the chest, pray position. Same for the other side. You want to practice balance, so left arm around the back, around the left leg. Right arm up, inhale, exhalation, either stay there or bring your left, right arm behind the back for a bind and hold it for three, look up, two 
and one. Inhalation, right arm up, look up. Exhalation to the middle, arms in front of the chest. Well done. Let's start standing up, straightening the legs into the forward bend. So grab your elbows and rock from side to side into the forward bend. Thanks for greetings from Indonesia. So, good morning everyone. For those of you especially just joining, feel free to join in for yoga practice. At the moment we're practicing forward bend, stretching the arms, legs, relaxing the neck, the shoulders. And from here, let's go up vertebrate by vertebrate, rolling up. Slowly, without rush, into the standing position. Let's go for a couple of uh, twists, relaxing from side to side. Try to have your arms loosely around, slapping your sides, or maybe gently tapping. It's up to you how you choose to practice. It's your practice, remember. I'm just here to guide you. And you always should be listening and respecting your body. So the next one, if you're pretty good at this one, you might have start tapping your stomach, your belly. Just try to relax the arms as much as you can and only at the very last moment tapping your belly or contact. And the hand behind, gently massaging your kidneys. Going up for the chest, same, maybe a bit more difficult. Initiating movement with the hips and only at the very last moment touching your chest. A couple more times on your shoulders, might be a bit more difficult. Try to do it as relaxed as you can. So if you release any tension, so your arms just if you initiate movement, arm just slap around. So if I'm starting one time and release, they should be going like a pendulum. And I'm going to the other side. They go on their own. Only thing is that I'm doing each time, initiating movement from the hips to the shoulders and then the hands slap around. So what you want to avoid, you want to avoid going around like a robot. <laughs> okay, let's stop in the middle. And let's bring the arms up, heels off the ground, reach up. Stay here for four. You can keep the heels off the ground or have them on the ground. Up to you, two. And one. Let's bring your right hand forward, left hand back. Hold it for three. Two. One. Exhaling, both hands down, inhaling, left hand forward, right hand back. Hold it for three, two, one. Inhaling, arms go up, exhaling, right hand forward, left hand back. Inhale, hold, exhale down. Inhale up, left hand up, right hand back. Exhale here, inhale, exhale. With inhalation, both hands up, exhalation, both hands down. Right hand forward, left hand back. Inhale, both hands up, left hand forward, exhale, left hand back. Keep circling the hands, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. And let's change the direction. So now the left hand goes circles towards the front, right hand towards the back. Inhale up. Exhale up. Inhale up. Left hand circles forward, right hand back. Exhale. Up. One more time. Inhale up. Exhalation, reach up, 
your heels off the ground, reaching upwards, exhalation, forward and relax. Bring your heels on the ground, you can bend your knees slightly if you want, into your forward. Inhalation, vertebrae, the vertebrae, stand up into the standing position. From here, let's go for a mountain pose. Check your mountain. Put the feet together, pelvis slightly tilted forward, abdominal muscles contracted. Just open shoulders back and down. Chin tucked in, walking forward. And from here, we're going for warrior one. So the left leg steps back. You can keep the heel off the ground or have it on the ground, firmly on the ground. If you have the left leg on the ground, try to make your toes pointing 45 degree angle forward. In any case, both variations requires hip looking forward. Same with the chest and your arms going up. The left leg straight, right leg bending towards the 90 degree angle, but make sure you still see your toes. From eyes to your knee to your toes. So it shouldn't be seen you. Otherwise, if you don't see your toes, that means that you're most likely going over your heel and risking a knee injury. So take care of your legs, take care of your knees, and be aware of your body posture. So check if your left leg is straight, check if your right leg is bent, 90 degree angle, hips and chest facing forward, arms up. Warrior one, hold it for three, two, one. Warrior two, so open up the chest and hips, facing forwards, facing my camera. Open up the arms to the cross. Keep the right leg bent, left leg straight. So legs didn't change, just the hips rotated together with chest. And once you have your arms in a cross, twist your head towards your right hand, looking forward. Keep your right leg bent, going forward, maybe checking if it's still, if you still see your toes. If you cannot see the toes, that means you probably need to walk your feet slightly forward to keep the 90 degree angle bent. So you don't want to be, or maybe some, maybe you want actually. Uh, if you feel like it's too hard to be so low, you straighten the leg, but if you feel like you can go deeper, but you don't see your toes anymore, you need to separate your legs a bit more. Now let's go for a side bend. Left hand down, right hand up. Side bends towards your left side. Here, we try to maintain the legs in the same position without moving. Look up towards your right hand. Hold it for three, two, one. Let's go for side bends towards your right. Utita Pasha Konasana. So you try to bring your right hand on the ground or on the right next to your knee. If you have it on the ground, very well. If not, you can use a block to put it on your left hand. So here we try to have it 45 degree angle forward. So it's not up, it's 45 degree angle forward. Try to have it in one line with your leg, your body in one straight line. Open up the chest, look up. Hold it for three, two, one. Inhalation, stand up to the warrior two again. Exhale here. Inhalation, straighten legs to the front, arms behind the back. Interlace them, open up the chest, Look up, exhalation, forward bend, all the way down. Relax and hold it here for four, three, two, and one. Inhalation, stand up. Keep arms behind the back, lifting up, open up the chest, punch into yourself, exhale, release, down, shake your arms, relax. Let's go for the same positions to the other side. So first, we bend our right, left leg, open up the hips, 
facing forwards and go towards the warrior one. Straighten the right leg, bend the left. Make sure you still see your toes. Open up, arms reaching up, hold it for four, three, two, and one. Inhalation, open up to the warrior two. Legs keep the same, only the chest, only the hips. Facing towards the camera along the long side of the mat. Maybe you find out if it's easier and you can separate the legs slightly more apart. Look towards your left hand. Palms facing down. Stretch your arms. Imagine that there are two people stretching you from side to side. Sit a bit deeper for three. Two. And one, side bends towards your right. So bring your right hand down your right leg. Maybe sit a bit deeper. Look up towards your left hand, facing upwards. Hold it for three, two, and one. Side bend towards your left. Bring your left arm right next to your knee. You can hold it here with your arm 45 degree angle forward, open up the chest. One more thing I forgot to mention the other side, it's better that you start from up here with a line chest and going down as much as you can. And from here, try to maintain your chest open, aligned with your leg, arm straight up, 45 degree angle. And then if you can go lower, keep going, but don't compromise your chest, your spine. If you can, go with your arm on the ground very well, but that's not the goal here. The goal here is to have your chest open and looking up. One more inhale here. Look up. Exhalation. Stand up into the warrior two. Make sure your hips and chest are still facing forward. Exhalation, arms behind the back. This time, grab them by the elbows or go for reverse Namaste. Inhalation, open up the chest. Exhalation, forward. All the way down. Hold it for four. If you're having reverse Namaste, make sure your palms are completely together, pressing against each other. Two. And one. Inhale. Keep arms behind the back, same position, Parshvottanasana. So opening up towards your left leg, both legs straight. Open up the chest, inhaling, look up, exhalation, forward bend towards your left leg. So I want here to have your hands behind your back, both legs straight. Right leg, 45 degree angle forward, left leg facing forward, your chest and spine aligned to your left leg. Hold it for three, two, one. From here, you can go for warrior three if you want. Lifting up your right leg, with the chest, parallel to the ground. You can keep arms behind the back or lift them in a cross, opening up to maintain the position easy. With inhalation, stand up, slowly as you can, towards the middle, bringing down your right leg on the ground. You can shake the arms if you need, or if you want a bit more intensive practice, keep them firmly behind the back. And let's go the same for the right side. If you have your arms relaxed, bring them back behind the back. Together, either reverse namaste or grab them by the elbows. Open up the chest, inhale. Open up towards the right side, both legs straight. Forward bend towards your right leg. And let's hold it for four, three. Try to maintain your spine straight, chest open. Don't round your spine. Two, one. 
Well done. You can go for optional warrior three. You can keep your hands behind the back, lifting up your left leg and the chest parallel to the ground in the same line. Or open up your arms in a cross. Choose your variation. Well done. Hold it for three, two, and one. Inhalation slowly with control. Stand back up to the middle. Release the arms. Well done. Shake them. Now let's step forward to the front of the mat and go for Surya Namaskara Ha. Sounds a little thick. Great inhalation. Arms up. Exhalation forward then. Inhalation halfway up, spine parallel to the ground. Exhalation, arm to the ground, step back into the plank. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale up, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here in the downward facing dog and enjoy the music from the phone. <laughs> Stay here. Downward facing dog. You can go for child pose or stay down there in the downward facing dog to relax for a couple of breaths. Here from child pose or downward facing dog, let's go forward into the forward bends. Step or jump forward, halfway up, escalation forward, exhalation. <laughs> yeah, inhalation, stand up, arms up, exhalation, mountain pose. Not sure how loud was the music there, a bit disturbing. So let's go for one more round of Surya Namaskara A. This time, hopefully, with less distractions. That's normal, life happens, there's always next distraction, and that's what's yoga about. Concentration, relaxation, and observation. Inhalation, arms go up. Exhalation, forward and all the way down. Inhalation, halfway up, spine parallel to the ground. Right head, straight and active spine here. Exhalation, arms on the ground, jump or step back into the plank, lower plank, still exhaling. Inhaling, upward facing dog, straight arms, chest open, feet flat on the ground. Exhaling, downward facing dog. We already had a downward facing dog before in a class, so you know, you have to straighten your arms, relax your neck, Look between your legs and try to bring your chest closer to your knees. Don't worry if you need to bend your knees. Most important thing is to have your spine straight and stretching with your shoulders up and your hips back and up. Hold it for three, two, and one. Inhalation with the knees, jump or step forward. Half air, spine, one up to the Exhalation, forward, all the way up. Inhalation, stand up, arms up. Exhalation, mountain pose. Let's go for one round of Surya Namaskara there. 
Inhalation, bend the knees, chair pose, arms up, tilt the pelvis forward, chest open. Exhalation, straighten the legs, fall down into the forward bend. Inhalation, spine parallel to the ground, reach with the chin forward. Exhalation, arms on the ground, jump or step back into the lower plank. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. It's more important that you synchronize your movements with your breath than you follow exactly the same rhythm I am with next inhalation. Bring your right leg forward, between arms bending at your angle. Warrior one, same thing we did before, and with exhalation, arms are gone. Step back, lower plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open the chest, feet flat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhalation, you can lift your left leg up in three leg dog and then still inhaling, breathe forward, arms up. Exhalation from warrior one, arms are long. Step back, lower plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And stay here in a downward facing dog. Or if you prefer, today we could try a dolphin here. So dolphin brings your elbows, forearms on the ground, and same as in downward facing dog. Look back, bring your chest closer to your knees, relax the neck, look between your legs. And that's a dolphin. From dolphin you could also go for Pinchumayurasana, equilibrium on your hands, or just stay here in a dolphin, trying to see the difference between downward facing dog and dolphin. Choose your variation and stay wherever you want for two more breaths. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale, exhale. Lift up into the downward facing dog. And with inhalation, jump or step forward, half way, spine parallel to the ground. Exhalation, forward and all the way up. Relax, with inhalation, bend the knees, chair pose, arms up. Exhalation, mountain pose. Let's separate our legs and go back into the squat. But this time, from the squat, we try the crow pose. So for the crow pose, you want to warm up the wrists first. Have those wrists warm and strong. So for the crow pose, you bring your arms on the ground. Bring your knees closer to your armpits. Or if you find it more easier, you can bring your knees outside from your elbows. Choose a variation, lean forward, Bring more and more weight on your arms, finally, so you might be able to lift your legs off the ground. Choose your variation. Try to find a balance here, just balancing on your forearms. Hold it for three, or keep trying lifting up and down, up and down. Two, and one. Well done, slowly. Control, bring yourself down back into the squat and circle your wrists or shake them if you need, however, whatever feels nice for your body. Try to listen and observe what kind of movements your body needs at this moment. From here, let's lean forward, bring your knees together and feet flat behind, sitting on your heels. From here, you can keep sitting on your legs straight, or if you prefer, you could also lift up and sit on your toes, standing up. With inhalation, bring your right hand up, left hand behind the back. Bend, bend the both arms and try to find the grab behind the back. You can stay here, option once, with the chest open, facing forward, or if you want, you can also go for a twist towards the left side. Hold it for three, two, 
and one. Well done. Inhalation to the middle, exhalation release, and go for the other side. Inhalation, left arm up, right arm back behind. Bend them, try to grab them behind the back. If you're not able to grab, you can use the belt or any other item to bring your arms closer to each other. You can stay here, looking forward, option one, or twist towards the right. Option two, stay here for three. Var izmantot jostiņu, aizmugrēju, ne, nevar sasniegt rokas. Opcija viens, skatīties uz spiekšu. Opcija divi, pagriezties pa lāvu. And one, inhale to the middle. Exhale, release, relax, shake those arms, shoulders. And maybe release your legs as well. And from here, let's cross the legs and go down into the seated position. First seated position we do is butterfly. So bring your feet together, open them up as a book. Use your elbows. You can fly your butterfly here. You can ask a friend to push your legs gently lower, closer to the ground, or use your own elbows, your hands. Wherever you feel, put your hands comfortable, maybe closer, maybe farther. Feel whatever is comfortable for you. Open your chest, straighten your spine, and enjoy your butterfly. You can fly, go forward, bend, whatever works for you. And here, on the butterfly, let's straighten our legs, shake them in front, and go for Paschimottanasana. With inhalation, arms go up, exhalation forward and all the way down. Here activate your legs. You can try to grab your legs from top of the uh, leg. Toes, straighten your spine, open up chest and try to bring them more towards yourself. Activating them, keep legs straight, chest opens and forward. And don't worry if you're up here, not reaching your legs and this is where you are because of your hamstrings and lower back is perfectly fine. Keep reaching forward, relaxing, and with each exhalation, get deeper and deeper. So acknowledge where you are at this stage of your life. And if you want to get deeper, make sure you keep practicing regularly, putting that intention, investing in yourself, and before you know it, you'll have progress towards your goals, towards your investing. So be sure to know where you want to invest in, then keep on chipping in every day. Those special postures you feel like need more work, find the time for them and do them. If it's a forward bend, keep forward bending. You can be standing, sitting, whichever posture, way you feel more comfortable. Remember, the way you like it the most it's more likely that you do those postures regularly. So find your variation, inhaling, sit up, and let's grab our right leg into our arms. Open up the hip, the arms, in the arms. Grab it any way you can, any way you like. Can be here, in the front, can be on the sides, any way you can help your hip opening up. Try to bring your toes pointing backwards to protect your knee. So when the feet is flexed back, you're protecting the knee, especially in this posture, when you're moving your hips back and forward, up and down, from side to side. Try to explore, see where you can go. Maybe touch your nose, forehead, left ear, right ear. Wherever you can reach, you can continue exploring your hip in a grab, or maybe try to bring your leg behind the back or just bring it closer to the shoulder. Same here, you can continue exploring using your shoulder to push your leg back. And from here, of course, you could try to put your leg behind the back if you're capable, but also you could lift your butt up the ground here and maybe even the leg as well. So many options here you could choose. 
to open your hip, explore, and have some fun exploring where your body is at the present moment. And that's it. Let's release our right leg and go for the same treatment for our left leg. Let's treat the left leg as well. So bend the leg, activate the toes, grab it in the arms any way you feel comfortable, any way you like. Lean back and forwards, side to side, explore, see the limits of your hip. And notice, maybe, maybe you have a, one side is a bit more open than the other one. Notice, just notice, see. See, maybe you want to improve one side so they're equal, or maybe they're perfectly fine with imbalances. It's up to you, how you learn and how you want to observe, and how you want to, what kind of meaning you put onto your observations. So here we can touch the nose, ear, other ear, maybe putting the leg behind the back, <laughs> behind the head, or just putting your left leg onto your left shoulder, opening up, bringing arms on the ground maybe. And from here you can just continue opening with the help of the shoulder or also lifting up the butt, maybe even the leg, pointing back and forward. Many options here. Choose yours. And with that done, let's release the legs, shake them up and let's go. For our favorite posture, favorite part of the yoga class today, and it's Navasana. So lean back, lift your leg. It's like sitting back, watching your favorite movie. You're sitting back, lifting your legs up. Have them parallel to the ground. Arms, straight line as well. You can use your arms to support the legs anytime you feel like you need some extra help, extra support to go through three rounds of Navasana. Make sure you have your chest open, straight spine, you want to be proud here. Imagine you're sitting in a car or watching a movie, looking forward, proud. And let's pay attention to our breath. Inhale, deep inhale, feel your belly, feel your chest, exhale, free. Or you can also straighten up your legs if you feel that sitting down or not run. It's a bit too easy. Inhale. Exhale. Two. One more. Inhale. Lift higher up. Exhalation. Arms and run. Cross your legs. Bring them higher to your chest. And lift back off the ground. You can keep the legs on the ground, off the ground. Choose your variation. If you want, you can also try to straighten the legs forward. Legs will be straight, bent, twisted, any way you like it, but make sure you're aware exactly how. Butt on the ground, second round of Navasana. Open up the chest, straighten the arms. Hold it for three long breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Smile. Enjoy the practice. Inhale. Exhale, two, well done. Just one more. Inhale. Exhale, cross the legs, arms are around, lift the butt off the ground. Hold it for three, two, and one. Third and final round of Navasana. Legs in a position, open chest. Deep inhale into the belly. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Two. One more inhale. Make as deep as you can. And once you dig your maximum, sip a bit more. And exhaling, cross the legs, arms and front. Lift the butt. Off the ground. Lift the legs, maybe just for a split second, sitting, if you can do it. Three, two, and one. Well done. 
Let's lower ourselves down on the ground into Setu Bandhasana. Slowly with control. Bend the legs, bring them closer to your sitting bones. And with inhalation, lift the butt off the ground, interlace the fingers. The arms shuffle the shoulders closer to each other. Open up the chest. Lift your pelvis up. Hold it for three. Lift up, two. And one. With exhalation, you can do go down on the ground, relax, prepare for one more round, or stay up here. Extra breath. And whenever you're ready, lift up for the second and final round of Setu Bandhasana. Inhale up and hold it for three, two, open up the chest, lift higher up. And one, exhaling slowly with control. Bring yourself down on the ground. Maybe bring your knees to the sides, relaxing and enjoying the posture, laying down on the ground. Next one, the shoulder stand, inversion. Inhalation, lift your legs up. Option one, stay here. If you feel like taking easy, Option two, lift your butt off the ground, bring your elbows closer to each other. Try to find a straight line here and stay here for five deep breath. Inhale, pay attention to your belly. Make it full. Exhale, high. Bring your toes up. If this is too easy, you can always release your arms on the ground as well. Inhale, exhale, four, inhale, try to straighten your line, exhale, three, two more breath, inhale, make extra deep inhale here, bring your belly out, exhale, one more inhale, Feel your belly, feel your chest, reach as high as you can for the last breath. And exhaling, bring the legs over the head into Halasana. Make sure you have plenty of space behind to straighten your legs on the ground. Don't worry if they're lifting halfway up. Objective here is to just have a bit, a bit of the back bending, relaxing and benefits of an inversion when your butt is above your heart. Maintain your legs straight, toes pointing forward, relax. And with inhalation, slowly with control, bring your sitting bones down on the ground and open up the legs into the happy baby pose. And from here, from happy baby pose, let's find our way sitting up into the seated position. Seated cross leg position. Now let's take a deep breath in for count of four. Hold it for count of four. Exhale for count of four. And hold it for count of four. One more time. Mm. On your own rhythm, on your own breathing, close the eyes, open up the chest, straighten the spine, and go through the cycle of inhale, hold, exhale, hold. You can choose however mm. fast you want to do it. Preparedness, Tyson, Al Potion, Swing 9, E Alpha, Ice to them, Ease Alpha, Ice to them.
Start with normal breathing whenever you finish your round. Open the eyes, bring arms behind the back. Interlacing, lift them up, open up the chest. Exhalation, forward bend. Stay here in the forward bend for three, two, and one. Inhale up, open up the chest. Keep lifting those arms up. Don't bail out of the position yet. Exhale now, release your arms, shake them. And now we're going for the last five minutes of the class into Savasana. Laying down on the ground, flat. Once you're down on the ground, try to relax the whole of your body. So first, Try to bring your lower back flat on the ground, for this usually bending your knees helps. After that, you can start straightening your legs firmly on the ground, separate them hip width apart. Next, bring your palms slightly apart on the body, shoulders back and down, palms facing upwards, open. Neck flat on the ground as much as you can. Your chin slightly tucked in for that. And try to relax all of your body. Don't worry if something moves, changes. Most important part is stay here, relax. And all the tension moves. If you find any tension somewhere in your body, Accept it, observe it, and maybe try to breathe it into it and release it. If not, then just observe and relax. Once your physical body is nice and relaxed, start shifting your focus towards your breath. Start observing your inhale. And your exhale. Observe it well. And try to also release any engagement with your thoughts. It's no thoughts coming, it's okay. Most important task here is to just not to engage with them. Don't start any conversations, discussions, worries. Just observe, take in. They're not important. Release them and move on observing the world. Imagine like you're watching TV, your favorite show, and you're so anxious to know what's going to happen next. But see if someone comes and disturbs you, you kind of send them away, tell them to wait for a moment till the very interesting part is over. With the same attitude, try to engage your meditation here, observing your breath with keenness.
you start shifting your focus back to your physical body, moving fingers and toes. Nice little stretch here. And whenever you're ready, hold on to the right side, bending your knees, and stay here a couple of breaths until you're ready to sit up into an easy seated position, opening the chest, straightening the spine, arms and the knees, or in your lap, wherever you feel. Have them comfortable. Lay them down. Take a couple of moments here observing your body and observing how you feel after the class. Do you feel any change? Any change at all? Or maybe observe how you feel. Do you like how you feel? Do you want more of them? Feel more of them like that? Or feel a bit more embarrassed? Or better? And observe the mind as well. Observe the emotions and your thoughts coming in and then rushing through. Let's, ex let's express the gratitude towards ourselves for finding time to practice yoga this Saturday morning. Dedicate time to rest in your own development. And let's bring the arms up above the head into the Namaste, great position. And with exhalation, bring them down in front of the chest. Finish the class chanting Mantra Om, which consists of three sounds, A, O, and N. And as for the weekend, we usually do three times. So I encourage you to join in for a singing, relaxing exercise. Inhale deeply into the chest, into the belly. Oh. Express gratitude towards yourself. Open up eyes. Namaste. Thank you very much for joining me for this class. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comments likes, share it with your friends, or drop me a private message. If you feel any value, feel free to contribute in any of these ways. If you feel appropriate, spending maybe a split second, second dropping that like button, letting it glow in this nice little blue color. And with that said, I wish you a nice day, enjoy the weekend ahead, Smile, be present, and see you on the next one.